Hello, and welcome back to, uh, <laughs> despite my reservations, I am doing this again. Um, so, uh, apparently I've been missing a very crucial, uh, crucial need to know information. Um, you can apparently reload without moving. I didn't know this. I know that's such a subtle thing, and I should know that, but I didn't know it. You can just click on the gun up here. I didn't know that. And you know what? I'm going to forgive myself for that one. Because how could I have known? How could I have known? There's no way I could have known. Anyway. Uh, you're welcome for your subtle daily tremors reference. Um, anyway, I'm trying very hard mode. Uh, I, I'm very... I don't know. Like, am I having a good time? Uh, you know what? I'm not really doing this for the fun. I'm doing it for the, the glory, you know? Like, sometimes you gotta do not what's, uh, what's, uh, right by you, but what's, what's right. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. But, I'm, I'm doing it. And I have a funny feeling that, you know, some of you will be glad. And if you thought that I was getting really salty in the last couple episodes, you are correct. But that's okay. Um, sometimes you just gotta power through. Sometimes you gotta power through the frustration and maybe you'll learn something that makes the game less frustrating. Remove one pawn, add one knight. I hate this. I hate it. But uh, king and queen, negative one. Is, this is, seems better than this. I don't know. The, the extra additional shell is almost, like, necessary. What? What do you want, small goblin child? Sorry, I'm just talking to my cat. What? What? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, alright. Do a little bit of damage. There, that second shot, oh, makes, makes all the difference in the world. Sometimes the right bullet in the right place can make all the difference in the world. Mr. Anderson. Different guy. Thematically very similar, though. Alright, well, this is this is a situation I don't like to be in. Um, okay. We're not dead yet. Soon, though. Very soon. Can... Are we... Are we in checkmate? I think we might be... Mmm, could be. It's okay. It's okay. It's the first game. It's only been three minutes, and uh, you know what? I'm learning. I, I still have to incorporate this, uh, this new mechanic that apparently has always been a thing that I never knew. I think that this the first couple of rounds are defining. Like, you really, you can do a bunch of extra damage to, uh, to some of these units, um, like, before they, they come anywhere near you. And I, that can, that can make a, a huge amount of difference. I don't know why I'm trying to kill the Rook. I have stated before that, um, killing the Rook is almost just, it, it's detrimental in some ways because you have to spend a lot of time and bullets doing that. Okay. So this is, that's where reloading on the spot is very helpful. Uh, not in this case though, because I'm pretty sure we're in checkmate and I didn't even win the first level. Very good. I'm sure I could have played that better. I think that for this first level, you just have to be okay with leaving some pieces alive. Um, I'm gonna go here. Kill. Reload. Okay, that so the horse can put me in check there. So I gotta, I gotta. Hmm, I don't super like this. Let's get rid of this bishop, and I'm gonna not worry about the rook. 
We are going to kill a couple of these pawns, though. Just one would do it. One more, one more pawn is fine. There we go. I think, uh, I think we can deal with that one rook. The rook is easier to manipulate. No. Taunting top. I don't like this. Remove one rook, add six pawns. This is not great. Oh, I hate, I hate cavalry. A lot. Um, one of my least favorite. It used to be one I, it would be, it used to be an easy take. Now, not so much. Okay. I still like it. Uh, sorry, not, not cavalry. I still like loafers. Loafers is still a great uh, power. Um, one of my favorites. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't under realize that the rook could take priority like that. I'm just gonna deal with the rook. I think in that instance it's worth doing. I'm actually gonna move up. There's the knight back up. That's fine. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Did that seriously do no damage? Um, yeah, let's just reload here. I need to do what? One damage. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that reload on the spot honestly makes a huge difference. Not having to move makes an, an enormous difference. Ritual Dagger is a great piece. Add two bishops at start of turn 20. It's not great because then we're adding four more pieces at turn 20. Deal eight damage on random enemies would be better. And, well, it does add one pawn, though. Militia is not great. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, Ritual Dagger, I uh, like it. It used to be a lot better, apparently. I'm going to take the wand. There is a new update for the game, by the way, but uh, it only adds a couple of minor fixes that I'm, I don't really, I, 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 I can do without. I'm, I'm fine for now. And uh, I believe so, uh, it's, a, it's a language update. So um, better and more language support. Okay, let's, oh, that was, that was dumb. We did some damage to the king though, that was nice. It's a, one of the things I love about loafers is being able to shoot while moving offers quite a lot of uh, extra strategic options. Um, all right, we're just going to take care of the bishop there, and I'm going to go ahead and reload. And we should be able to take out the king here, maybe? Yes, actually. So things are going well. I think they're going a lot better um, than before. Just this slight change is enough. So I really do appreciate people letting me know. Um, all right, Let's see what we can do here. I don't know what I'm hoping for for that one. Do I actually want it to kill a couple pieces or would I prefer it to just damage most of the pieces so that they're easier to take out? Like that's, it's nice being able to take out a couple of extra pieces early on. Um, the queen is going to be a problem, obviously, but we are in a pretty good position. If I can take her out now, oh God, that's not good. It's okay, we can take her out now and we can put the final nail in the coffin on that rook. I am going to have to move around a little bit just to gain some extra ammo. This is ideal because we'll, we'll be able to shoot the um, king right in the face. Excuse me? Yo, what? What do you mean I'm in... Th oh, right, they have militia. That was my bad. Okay, so I just... I need to reload. I should be able to take them out here. There we go. All right, doing a lot better. Very hard mode, slightly easier than before. Only slightly. 
Deal damage equal to your firepower on a non-king enemy. This would be nice. Remove two pawns, add one rook. That's fine. This is also pretty good in combination with the other wand. Um, because then if something is like about to... Like say the queen takes a couple of hits from it. We could maybe uh, like knock it out on the first turn. Gives us a little bit of extra strategy here. Four power. We can't take out the queen. We can, however, take out that rook. We could take out that rook also. And we will because it we make full use of that wand. I'm going to go ahead and try and take out that knight. The knights always give me a problem. We can't go there because of the queen. But I can move here. I would like to take out that rook. I took a chance there. It didn't really pay out. Well, it did, I did two damage. You know, you can't really hope for more. This might be good right here. Oh, I am in threat though. Um, oh god, I hope that's not it. No, it's not it. I should have uh, loafered. That's fine. I, I, I did not end up paying for it. So I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, recover some ammo. Um, hmm. How do we want to play this? I mean, that was fine. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, not ideal. The queen has a good opportunity to corner me here, so I'm not hugely a fan of that. Right, the pawns can move sideways. That's so bizarre. We should be able to deal with the queen right now. Okay, so now it's just the king. It's just honestly ammo recovery at this point that's going to be a problem. I really hope I don't get... Uh, that's It's not great. It's not looking good. No, we should be good. Oh my god. That's like such a bummer when that happens every time okay there we go there's the final final bullet shoot something right in front of you two damage one damage pikeman i'll never take pikeman remove one pawn add one bishop negative one ammo max that's a problem but subtle poison is great it's one of my favorite cards definitely it nerfs like one of the one of the worst things for us. Okay. What do you want, gremlin child? What are you trying to do? Okay, let's uh, go ahead and use this wand right away. That might be, like, honestly, debatably a good move. I, I might, it might be better off doing other things. I could get rid of the queen right away. Let's get rid of the queen right away. Okay. Ooh. Um, just gonna. That there, there was nothing strategic about that. It was honestly just a shot in the dark, almost literally. Okay, we're just gonna reload. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that was so dumb. That's a rare death by Bishop there. My God. Okay, well, I'm feeling a little bit better about how I'm doing right now, even though I'm still making stupid moves. It's fine. It's It has to be fine. It's going to be hard to break the habit of moving to reload. There, that was good. Now we can just shoot the king. 
I know it's a shotgun. I know it has a range and that that is always a chance. There's always a chance you're not going to do any damage. Still feels really bad every single time. Feels really crummy. <laughs> Hate it. Non oh, August presents. Remove one knight, add two bishops. I actually love this. This is fantastic. August presents. One, like, possibly my favorite card in the game. Oh, interesting. Both bishops are on black. Which is nice. Get rid of that. Uh, oh, there's three bishops. Okay. Get rid of that um, knight. Because they're going to pose the greatest problem for us. Okay. All right, that was that was all right. Uh Yeah, I'm not really happy about our situation right now. I say that a lot, don't I? Okay, reload. We should be okay. This pawn over here is going to move there, but that's okay. We're going to... Do I really want to take that chance? No, I don't. I'm just going to take them both out here. And I think we can just start making plays towards the king. Wow, that was a lucky hit. I guess there's always that possibility as well. That you'll do three damage from that distance. Perfect. Rightful curtsy is fine. I guess I'm taking that. Destroying a rook gives two ammo, add one rook. Not a huge fan of this. Revolution is okay. Honestly, the extra ammo max is what I like about this. Knockback, I don't know. Knockback is such a weird mechanic and I don't know how I'm supposed to use it effectively. Hmm. That was dicey. We should be safe. Uh, if I move here, then the rook can't put me in check, which is nice. Oh, of course, there's a bunch of bishops to take that role, and I'm pretty sure we're in checkmate. Mm, no, we're not. We can move there. Reload. The white bishop can't threaten us, which is nice. And the rook is kind of taken care of. So we're just gonna... Oh, the, the rook is not taken care of because I just took care of the thing that was blocking it. Smart. Clever. Clever moves by me. Um, let's make plays on the bishop. It's plural. Mm. Don't like any of this. Wow. Okay, let's get rid of a rook. I don't I don't like this. I got to block these um I got to block these pawns or like like try and take a couple of them out, honestly. Um that rook's got full health. But if I move here, then it will move down. And I can't basically do anything to it. But I uh, hmm. feel like I just need to take a shot at these bishops. I'd like to stop this pawn, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Oof. Ooh, I don't like this. I think I might actually be in checkmate. Damn it. Yeah, I, I just, like nothing I can do here. That pawn is... is yeah. Done. Him. Uh, I tried really hard to turn that around, but even with August presence, I completely screwed it up. The the the, de the stacked deck in hard mode, in very hard mode, is it's uh, borderline frustrating. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna move and attempt to kill the horse you know pieces as I as I move here okay rook 
You know what? Let's just create an opening rather than trying to deal with the rook. All right, this is good. I don't know why I thought that was good. That's that's game over is what that is. That was good. Game over. I thought the rook was going to move here is why I did that. And then I would be able to like navigate around the pond. But the, the rook actually played it smart and blocked me from moving. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't always fully manipulate the pieces to do exactly what you need them to do. Reload. Hit the hit the bishop. I, I guess I'm gonna hit the pawn. Or oh, sorry, the the rook. You can't you can't like stay still if you don't have ammo. Is the only thing. Ugh. May as well. I'm just gonna move. I mean, we're 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 totally good now. There's nothing that can stop us. But that doesn't mean, uh, you know, don't uh, don't think about it. Increase pawn pawn speed. Remove one knight. Add three pawns. This is okay. I don't like Piercing Truth. Tr Pier piercing Truth, I feel like it needs a buff. I understand why it, it reduces your firepower because if it was just a straight up piercing, it would be overpowered. But I feel like there's gotta be a middle ground because reducing your firepower like this is its just a huge bummer. Wand of Wings would be really nice. Add six pawns. I mean, I have mixed feelings about it now. I wonder if this jumps. Like, can I jump over pieces with this, you think? Kind of want to use it right away, and then we can get a head start on the king. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's much we could have done there. Take care of the horse. I'd like to create an opening here, if I can. Ugh. There we go. See, the the pawns are actually a huge problem for us now. Unless I can start killing the king right away. I mean, I did, but I don't have the firepower necessary to, like, mow down the pawns like I used to. Wand of Downpour would be great for us right now. But we can't afford to increase pawn speed. Actually, Wand of Downpour is terrible for us. What I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. The Red Book is um, not great, but it's it's better than increasing pawn speed. So I am going to use this right away. It's going to give us a little bit more, um, you know, it gives us an extra chance to, to kind of create an opening right away, which we really need because <laughs> that's our, our biggest problem right now are, is, is the pawns. If I had that movement that now, though, I'd be able to, um, I'd be able to jump through this gap, whereas I have to kind of widen the gap, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking there. <sighs> I really thought, I, I don't know why I thought the rook was going to move to the right, but of course it's going to block me. So now I got to, I got to deal with it, <laughs> which is going to waste time, which means the pawns have more time to get to the end. Which they're going to. 
Yeah, we have queens now. We have two queens. Very good. Uh... I need to kill him now. There we go. Just barely. Three queens. We would have been absolutely screwed the next turn. Okay. Knockback, terrible ammo, and fire range. I'll take it. It's not great, but it's better than... Better than knockback. I mean, knockback gives us one ammo, but... Man, it's just... It's just not... It's not okay. Alright, that was good. A couple of good turns there. Get rid of that other horse, maybe? Oh, what? Really? Really? God! Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. If you're enjoying this series, God help you. Um, I'll see you guys next time.